They lay a bunch of eggs every day. It seems like they're putting out eggs. Need I say more about trapping small game than hickory tree? Trap down in. But you don't see many trucks like that on them hunting shows, do you? Hood up, <laughs> full of wood in the back. Well, T-Mac Wild for the Outdoors, and uh, I've had some inquiries about my quail pen. Uh, just a four by eight. Really, it's too much room for the five quail that I have. But uh, it works pretty good. I built it out of some old concrete forms. And I got Caternic Quail. That's the brand of quail I have. They're really great to raise. They're easy. Uh, chick starter is all they eat. And they produce eggs every day. And those eggs can either be pickled or eaten. However you want to eat an egg. Used in an incubator to make more quail. So... For us, and they don't make a lot of noise. They're not like a chicken. And now I've got 18 or 20 hens, and uh, they're kind of noisy. You'll hear them in the video sometimes. Very rarely does these guys make a sound, and they can. You can really put them into a compact space, and they're just fine. If I was in town, this is definitely a bird that I would be raising in my backyard because they're so easy. They take up so little room get these quail into a little different area just gonna move them back over here in the shade a little bit it's gonna start getting hot and I want them to have some greenery and right now all they've got is compacted straw I put straw in there for them for the winter time keeps them warm and of course they've by now they've got it all jumbled up melt it's down and makes good garden fodder really so to take all that out we're gonna use it on the garden the pumpkin patch and get them some fresh veggies you know some grass, nice green grass to crawl in so this could get interesting well there we have it got that thing moved back took a little work but I got it done uh, now they've got fresh green grass in there I'm just gonna put them back in there fresh food fresh water fresh grass man they're gonna be happy and maybe they'll keep giving me these the eggs right there I've already got a quart jar full of them pickled or pickling right now so I keep them happy they'll keep making eggs and making me happy I'm gonna put them back in there now and I got free fertilizer for the garden all that straw right there man that's gonna make for some good mulch Always one. All right, doing a little rain collecting here. Uh, this gutter right here is uh, 12 feet long, and the lean-to is 12 feet that away, and it's got another six foot above it of slight runoff. So about 20 feet by 12 foot of uh, shed with the slanted tin roof and I found this piece right here this is not a gutter but it's an old it used to cover the top of a barn and it was pretty stout and it had a groove right down the middle of it so I'm using it as a gutter 
and you got to have something to funnel that water into the bucket this is a 55 gallon drum as you can see here and the other day we got uh, about a quarter inch of rain and it didn't take long and that bucket was full and overflowing and I'm going to rig up a system kind of like I've got going here I've got this barrel on top of a tire and, but I didn't have any way of putting a hole in the middle so I just drilled three holes beside each other with a quarter inch bit and walled it out a little bit and took a hammer and just drove that piece that square tubing in there and it sits down at an angle so when it fills up water runs down into this tub I'll kind of put that down there so you can see it so now the tub had a crack in the side and it's not built for water holding but I was just making sure that this system was going to work good and it really filled up that thing quick now I got a tub right here just sitting out in the rain And as you can see, just sitting in the rain, it barely caught, there's probably an inch of water in there, and this is a smaller tub than that one. So, having that funneled out, going down in there, running off that roof, is pumping out the water. Now, I'm going to put a garden in right down here, downhill. The hill goes off here, and my property runs downhill from there. And there's a low spot down there. And I'm going to put in a new garden just for pumpkins. And this is the water that's going to water them pumpkins. But what I'd eventually like to do is get three or four of these barrels stacked up going down the hill. And get them all running into each other. And have uh, some kind of system coming out the bottom of each barrel and funnel that water that way so that I can water that all year long without having to drag the water hose over here because this is uh... that garden there is going to be oh, 75 80 yards from the well that's a long ways you know and my other garden is already 75 80 yards away from the well just to get it out in the sun away from the trees and it's it's you know that's a lot of hose running out there water collection if you can do it do it believe it or not there is some places in America where you cannot collect water which to me is just sounds stupid okay <laughs> it's it's water it's free and if you're gonna make use of it I'm just collecting, you know, 55 gallons of the 20,000 gallons that's going to flow off into the ground. I don't know. I don't understand it. I'm sure the people that are in charge have a lot better reasoning for it than I do. But to me, it sounds stupid. So if you can collect water, do it. It's a good way to substitute having to run your well a lot. Wild for the Outdoors. Check us out around the cabin. That's www.aroundthecabin.com. Check the campfire for listings of our live show. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. And be sure to visit our online store. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends. And hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.